taking too long again to get the shots off. But he just gave us a frustrating cameo of his class. And then somehow just has gone to sleep on it again and invited Arias back in again. Harrison says something to Arias in there. I'm not sure whether the Brazilian understands English too much. He might do. Well, we saw some good work from Harrison in this round. Didn't sustain it and allowed Arias to come back at him again. As you say, frustrating is the work. And he has boxed a bit looser in this round when he's put his mind to it. Look, look at this. Now there's a three-punch combination and a bit more. Now this is more like it. He seems to have found the answer in this round. Will he stick with it? Well, the boys use the words enigmatic, and I think that's right, really, with uh, Audley Harrison. He won his first 19 before losing three of his last six now. Now, these jolting little shots, they're not allowing Arias to come back with anything. Not the best punches we've ever seen, but these are better than the big wide thumps that have been blocked and doing nothing. Just keep them occupied, don't allow them to work. He's big enough, heavy enough, and strong enough to carry on doing that. Keep in control, keep in control, OK? The computer is saying that Arias has landed more punches so far. I'd, I'd say Harrison's landed the better quality shots, though, wouldn't you? Yes, and that's the way I'm leaning. I mean, Arias is getting close, and the little testy punches, little nuisance punches. Uh, I suppose if you want to count them point scoring, they're not impressing me, a lot of them. Harrison definitely producing the better work. Wish he would sustain it. Ninth round. Audley Harrison looking to revive his career. If he was looking for a quick blowout and some good headlines on Monday morning, and then indeed tomorrow morning, it hasn't happened so far. And I'm sure the, the reporters are going to pounce on the cat calls and boos that he's got from the public here but you can't always take that at face value i've seen fights in las vegas and it seems like everybody wants to watch the third world war they're booing after half a minute if it's not a big tear up so you can't take that totally at face value at times tonight he's looked good at other times he's looked as frustrating as he's done most of the time you yeah, know well, he's not allowing arias close here a little bit more snap in the jab Harris hasn't really got started yet in this round. He's had some success with the uppercut, the Brazilian. And yeah, Harrison left gaps there. Maybe he feels that Arias hasn't got a punch to hurt him with. He might be right about that, or he did seem to stun him with one early on in the fight. Well, this is good work from Arias now. Got momentum on his work now, coming forward, getting under the... The defence of Harrison. Is Harrison a lazy fighter, Jim? Sometimes the, the, the really big fighters, I mean, I think it's in their personality, the language, the way they go through life, and it's reflected in their boxing. Whereas you think people like Tyson, Joe Frazier, who could go at a pace, these big, huge guys can't do it. Even Lennox, who was a great fighter, I mean, he didn't really work at a pace. I just think it's all down to, to the size. No knockdowns so far. Just fitfully, Harrison has come to life in the contest, but he gets careless sometimes. He, I think it's a bit of tiredness, you know. He, he can't sustain, he can't fight three minutes around. He seems to fight in half-minute bursts. Then he occasionally drops his gloves and gets caught by punches. And against heavier hitters than Arias, he might pay for that. Yeah, but I have him losing this round because Arias has been by far the busier. Just these short little jolting shots. But uh, Harrison not really coming back with anything better. He's got to give Frank Warren a reason to believe in him. The British public a reason to believe in him. That he can possibly go forward. He's getting this chance. People were saying it's a last chance. Is he taking it, Jim, or not? Well, he's not, but again, to be fair, this is not an easy guy to look good against. 
more booze. I think the fact that Aris is not a big puncher, uh, Harrison is maybe not paying as much uh, attention to his defence as he would normally do if he feared the power on the other guy. But these were good punches. I was saying in some of the earlier rounds, Aris's punches looked like little cuffs, but those were well delivered, and I don't think uh, Harrison liked that one too much. Two beauties there. Well, it'll be interesting to hear the, the post-fight verdict. You've got Harrison ahead there you've got something similar to that maybe a little a, a tad closer but uh, I think Harrison is winning although Harris is landing plenty yeah but I just think the quality I mean a lot of Harris's win hasn't really been impressive so that has to be taken into consideration Harrison was due to have met the winner of the prize fighter competition Martin Rogan tonight you I wonder how that might have gone but you've been saying it, Jim, and I agree. Arias is a respectable opponent. Now, Harrison, final round. Is he going to open up here and look to leave us with something to remember? It's a fast start. Can he sustain it? Well, whatever he has left in the tank, bring it out on show and finish on a bit of a high. All the physical advantages all the way through. Start using them now. There's another combination. He was a bit unhappy with the canvas there. Thought he might have just slipped on the way in. Good uppercut, Arias. Bit of class, that, that left uppercut from the Brazilian. He's been around the block and good body shots and another uppercut too. He's got a lot of pride and he stayed competitive just as he did with Johnny Nelson right the way through. In fact, he's landed a lot more tonight than he did against uh, Nelson seven years ago at the York Hall. Well, there it is again, you see. We had this fast start to the round from Harrison. Then he switched up again. But he knows it's the last round. He's heard the reaction at the end of a few of the rounds from the crowd. He would think he would go out there and just give it everything he had. But again, Arias is in his face. Just standing with him. It's almost as if the ignition cuts out from time to time. And here he goes again. That's a good punch, that right hand, that right hook. Then a left hand as well. And Arias had to give ground. These are heavy shots. He's thumping these in. This is good from Harrison. Now look at him here. You're watching two different fighters in there. See, this is what's needed. Punches that Arias can't block and come back with a counter. He's been knocked back, although he's blocking the shots. He's been knocked back by them and not allowed to do anything. We needed to see this earlier. This is a dominating final round from Harrison. If he'd fought every round like he's fought this one, he'd have absolutely no complaints and you might really start believing. But it has been fitful, I'm afraid to say. It's... Um, now, there'll be mixed reviews again, I think. See, I don't think he has the confidence in his condition to, to fight like this in the early rounds. I think it's the last round. He knows what he's got left, and he's using it up. But this is good stuff. But if he had done this in a couple of the early rounds, maybe Harris would have lost heart. Harrison has won. But it is to a chorus of boos from the Manchester crowd. But I do think at times there, he showed what he has. But what I think he doesn't have, just as you said there, Jim, is confidence in his ability to sustain a work rate over 10 hard, or even 12 hard, three-minute rounds. I think the whole thing is confidence. Confidence in his ability, confidence in his staying power, and maybe confidence in his chin. But you see the stats, and the crowd are booing, but I think that's a performance. Harrison, for me, won the fight fairly clearly points wise although at no time did he dominate he was behind on the stats on punches landed meanwhile Arias is getting a hero's welcome from the Manchester crowd but I think this is all a bit preordained by a lot of the fans here they had it in for Harrison from the word go it's a heart hurtful for Audley this it really is ladies and gentlemen 
after 10 rounds of boxing, your referee, John Keane, scores the contest 98 points to 92. The winner in the blue corner from London, Audley A. Force Harrison. Well, the crowd didn't like it. Johnny Nelson, what did you make of that performance? And ladies and gentlemen, oh, I think Audley Harrison has not got the confidence in his boxing ability. Uh, he can box, we know he can box, we know he's a big fella, he just doesn't believe in himself. Arias did the right thing and doing confidence as the fight came on, and uh, Audley let him. Glenn McCrory, you were shaking your head throughout that fight. Dave, uh, you know, the boys were trying to support him and trying to get behind him, but for me, it's three words, no, he can't. And I think that's... Chorus of boos here, stop-start performance, not the spectacular you surely wanted. Well, you know, you know George Arias, you know, for, well, first of all, thank God for the victory. You know George Arias from boxing Johnny Nelson, you know he's a tough, durable guy. You know he does the distance, he's only been stopped once, so, you know, a guy 5'11", I'm 6'5", the crowd always going to get under the underdog, and obviously you've got a guy who's got a big heart, who's trying all the time, and I was trying to open him up, do little different things, he caught me some good shots. But the main thing is, is, is to get the victory. You know the guy, you know Arias, last minute opponent. I never got a video of him. So I just had to take my time around a good jab and, and try and open up with them uppercuts. Only a couple of good bursts. Why, why did he take so long to get going? Well, you know, everyone knows st uh, different styles make different fights. Everyone knows I'm a natural aggressive counter puncher. I was trying to fiddle him to open him up. I'm not a gun hole type of fighter. You know, I'm a guy who, who creates openings. And he was very tight. He didn't leave no openings. So I was trying to fiddle him. I even put my hands down trying to open him up but he was he was game and he, um you know i'm happy for the victory frank warren took the chance on you he hasn't come here to talk through the interview yeah. you say yes i can everyone else is saying no you can't become a world champion do you really believe it 100 you know there hasn't been an olympic gold medalist who's gone on from britain and won a world title and i honestly believe 100 that in 2009 i know i said it 2006 2007 but i'm ready i'm not i'm not like a, a gun hole type of fire i've got skills and you put my skills against any other heavyweight, I'm going to come on top. That's my honest belief. Well, we'll watch with interest. Thanks tonight, Audley. Thank you. He doesn't lack confidence, does he, Audley Harrison? Things will get a bit lively.